What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here with the latest Madden 21 title update Possibly the biggest one so far this year in terms of impact on the game There's a ton of gameplay stuff getting addressed a lot of things that we have all asked for them to fix or tune uh, It also kicks off season two, which means there's new content in the game. There's things changing in the game There's a lot of different things changing with different modes So there's a lot to cover in today's video now if you are new to the channel and you never want to miss out on any of these updates news or especially the next gen information and gameplay that should be dropping any day now make sure to subscribe turn on the bell icon so that you never miss any of these important uploads you know half of y'all that watch the videos aren't even subscribed that's crazy right like half the people that watch every video aren't even subscribed so i mean hey if you want to change that up one time real quick I would appreciate it you know but either way let's get in to the update so we're gonna go over the gameplay stuff first because it is the biggest bulk of this update and the most crucial to the game so number one they finally fixed the dropped interceptions they did a couple things here which they've listed it said they fixed an issue allowing defensive teammates to cause a knockout on their teammate during an interception they also tuned to decrease catching penalties for defenders catching in traffic now they did add a dev note here saying these two changes will reduce the number of dropped interceptions for the defense but they will not eliminate them completely there will still be situations where defenders will not successfully catch interceptions based on ratings physics or interactions which is fine i don't think anybody is saying that interceptions should never be dropped but clearly after the last couple updates there was a bug in this game where pretty much all interceptions were being dropped wide open interceptions time and time again so hopefully this is a good fix honestly reading through a lot of this gameplay stuff earlier this sounds like a very very good update it's just will something else be broken as a result of it that's always kind of the catch 22 but anyway continuing on the qb draw they fixed the qb draw there's something i expected them to address i talked about it in previous videos and they did they addressed it they did a couple things here number one they fixed an issue preventing fumbles when not fatigued on qb draw plays. so quarterbacks will now fumble much more as a result of hits regardless of fatigue level now that part i don't really think that needed to be addressed too much i think it was good that qbs weren't fumbling as much however you definitely should always be looking to slide with your qb anyway because it's madden but i didn't really think that needed to be addressed however this was the most important part they added logic to slow down the qb's acceleration at the end of the drop back on qb draw plays as well as restricting the direction the qb can move immediately after catching the snap they added a dev note here saying Based on player feedback and stats data, we saw that QB draw has become too powerful. With these changes, the QB draw play will have to be used more strategically rather than being a core play. And that's what it was. People were running this as their entire offense. The QB acceleration right out of the drop back was so sped up that it was like, it was almost glitchy. That's why it was so good. And you could immediately change direction and move in direction without having to like plant your feet, have no momentum really involved. So that's why the QB draw was so good. Now it sounds like you can't really just base your whole offense around it. They also fixed an issue causing rack catches to be dropped a little too frequently. Also tuning to reduce the distance for additional defenders to cause catch knockouts. They added a dev note here saying based on player feedback and play testing we found that rack catches specifically were being dropped too much on both competitive and simulation game styles these changes will significantly increase the chances of successful rack catches when throwing to receivers with a step or two of separation on the coverage and provide better balance versus man coverage personally i haven't seen any problem with rack catches i haven't dropped them so i don't know i guess somebody who was dealing with this somewhere i just hadn't seen it uh, here's another big one. They fixed an issue allowing pass rushers to disengage for quick pressure after a defensive line crash adjustment in formations like 3-4 Bear and 3-4 Cub. This is the disengage three-man pass rush that's been in the game since launch. They fixed it in a couple formations, but it was still running wild. Now this, I don't know if this means they fixed it in all formations because they only listed these two, the 3-4 Bear and the 3-4 Cub. Maybe they're just using those as examples, but I'm willing to bet they're still disengaged pass rush somewhere in the game. Uh, definitely something that needs to be fixed. If they fix it all, then great. I think that's a great change. Here's another big one. The thing that I have been trying to lead the charge on since they changed it. They updated the QB slide and QB dive mechanic. They switched it back to how it was. You tap X to slide. You hold X or square, you know, depending on your system, to dive. They added a dev note here saying, this is the second time we've changed these mechanics via title update this year, which is certainly not ideal, but our players told us that the previous iterations simply were not working for them. This change reverts the controls back to what players are most familiar with and will be the same for all ball carriers, meaning that giving up with a ball carrier will be the same controls as QB slide. You tap the X or square button to give up or slide. You hold it to dive. It, you know, 
This is what I said when they changed it the first time. It never needed to be changed. This was the easiest way to do it. Everybody was comfortable with it. Nobody complained about it. And they're saying, well, it's not ideal to change it twice. But the thing is, you never had to change it to begin with. Like, you kind of did this one to yourself, EA. But I'm glad it's finally changed back. Here's another one that's pretty significant. They tuned to reduce inaccurate passes caused by pressure. Mainly, I think this has to do with the throw out of sack mechanic. Something we all wanted to see in the game when they talked about it initially. But it has proven to be... Uh, you know, not too good because it's just causing really crazy wild and accurate passes and just pressure in general. Under pressure penalties this year have been worse than they've ever been. That definitely needed a bit of a tune, so I'm glad to hear that. And here's yet another big one. They tuned to decrease the average yards per carry on outside zone and stretch running plays on competitive all pro and all Madden. They added a dev note here saying our stat tracking data has shown recently a spike in the average yards per carry on outside running plays on competitive game style. So we're making some tuning adjustments to blocking to reduce the effectiveness of these plays. Talked about this a few videos ago after the most recent updates, the run became easier. People were going back to Madden 20 style. Stretch, 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 stretch. The block shedding was horrible. The force defenders, the pursuit was horrible. So I'm curious to see if they reverted more back to how it was at the beginning of Madden 21 where you were seeing a little bit more force defender play, a little bit more block shedding. You know, last year they tried to fix the run all year and really weren't successful. So I'm curious to see how this one works out, but there definitely needed to be some tuning there. And here's the last big gameplay thing here. It says they tuned to, uh, they did some tuning here to the steering on the truck move for bruiser ball carrier archetypes to reduce the fast oversteer that was being used as an exploit. This is known as the air truck, meaning people were literally trucking the air. They were not trying to truck a defender in open space when they wanted to turn up field. They could truck the air and it gave them this super like speed boost animation up the field and also made it hard for any nearby defender to get like a tackle animation or get close to them. So that was something that has been an exploit since kind of day one that needed to be fixed. So that's mostly all of the gameplay stuff. Now, let's talk about Season 2, and then we'll get into the rest of the individual modes. So Season 2 officially kicks off today. The title for Season 2 is called The Wave, um, and there's some new things with this. So first off, they're adding some new gear drop and players to the yard. That's kind of something that happened in Season 1 as well. This week, they have something called Fathers of Flash, which is a combo or like collab with Ocho Cinco, Chad Johnson. So I assume Chad Johnson is now a draftable player in the game. As you can see in the pictures, this is clearly Chad Johnson wearing his Ocho Cinco gear. So that's new gear that you can go earn or purchase however you want to do it. And Ocho Cinco should now be a player in the yard. Uh, also with the yard is Odell Beckham is now coming to the yard. He was already in it as, as a draftable player, but I believe his archetype is finally going to be in the game now, which is something I showed you in an early video before Madden dropped. He was an archetype in the mode when we got to play early access, but he wasn't in it at launch. He was the most overpowered one in my opinion because of his spectacular catch ability. So I believe his archetype's now in the game, but also the Nike field has been redone to be an Odell Beckham field. This came for season one as the Bo Jackson field, but he's taking it over and it, you can see that, you know, they've redone the field a little bit. Also with season two, they've updated Superstar KO and now it's called Endless Run. It's a new form of Superstar KO it says here you play until you lose and keep drafting along the way in Superstar KO's endless run become the longest surviving superstar and track your progress with new leaderboards which is cool gotta love the leaderboards all of your play will earn XP and rewards so basically Superstar KO up until now has been you play four games and then you reset and start over and you play a new set of four games if you win all your games. Now you can keep going endlessly and keep drafting new superstars. So if you play 30 games, you keep playing 30 games until you lose. So it's kind of a cool little mix up. And then for Ultimate Team, it's officially Autumn Blast, which means the Thanksgiving themed content and stuff is going to be coming for Ultimate Team as we are in November. So that is the bulk of Season 2 or at least like the start of Season 2, what they've revealed to us now. Let's get into the rest of the game modes. So franchise mode, I, I I have to tell you, this isn't the one, guys. This still is not the franchise update. They did say, however, that next week we're going to hear a lot about that, or the, the update potentially is next week because they did say, they've been saying mid-November is the first franchise update. It is technically still early November, so they didn't really lie there, but some people were expecting it and hoping it to come here. For this particular update, the only thing Franchise got was some general stability improvements. Again, we don't really know what that means. We never know what it means. And um, they also fixed some crashing issues with, uh, you know, drafts in multi-year leagues and something to do with the rookie draft classes. They did 
fix those crashing issues so you know next week we'll have a lot more about franchise mode for you guys i'm excited for you guys to finally start getting some of these updates um, for the yard stability and reliability improvements again just things to do with probably crashing and, and desyncs and servers or whatever not really sure what it means madden ultimate team they did a few things here you can see up on the screen kind of just some convenience things or you know cleaned up a couple things that weren't uh, working properly but nothing like crazy or overhauling of the mode or anything like that um and then lastly we have some presentation updates a couple things here to note so first off it said the cowboys home pants are now less green to match the changes they made on field this year to the color of their sea foam pants so you know for somebody like me that's not really like that's not really something that's too important but some people want those things to be spot on accurate so they have changed that up here's the one that a lot of people have been asking for the mouthpieces they are now enabled throughout the entire game because we took extra time to ensure we covered all the bases and it worked with every uh, or worked everywhere correctly as a long-standing community request we are happy to announce these are usable and fully functioning throughout the whole game so before they were just on certain players i think maybe for franchise and play now but they're in you know now they're in some of the other modes like like ultimate team and things like that they're still not customizable yet though they did talk about that on stream they said you still can't customize them or like manually put them on players i don't believe but they said that is still coming but that functionality has not been put in yet which i think that's what most people want they want the customization they want to put them on their players or other players or change them up change the colors that part still isn't there yet but they are finally throughout the entire game so you know what the ea is always it's baby steps um they're finally it took them that long just to get them in the game so we'll see how long it takes them to make them customizable but that is the uh, update for today there's a lot of good things here in terms of gameplay outside of that kind of mad but we'll see if uh, these gameplay updates hold true if anything else became broken and again make sure stay tuned for next week franchise guys should have a lot of information for you then so hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful as always like comment subscribe and i will see you guys next time